Hi, I'm Alex from NME, and today we're with the directors of Uncut Gems, Josh and Benny Safdie. Hello, Hello, how are you? This is not your typical Adam Sandler movie. How did you get it him isn't? to sign up? No, <laughs> it's not typical. Uh, how did we get him to sign up? I don't know, it, t- it took 10 years to get him to sign on to this. So uh, uh, I think eventually it was our, the film we made, Good Time, that ended up breaking through the barrier with him. But, uh, you know, we, we originally wrote it with him in mind uh, and, and went out to him 10 years ago. So I think... Uh, Fate has something to do with it, uh, but yeah, there was it was good time that ended up <laughs> making its way to him, and he responded to that film, and then we immediately got on the same page. I think he loved that we loved yeah. his early comedy records. So we've always loved him, and there was something about what he could do with his characters in those absurd movies and situations that we thought would work very well in this. So why did it take so long to make? Ten years. Uh, I mean, why, I, why, <laughs> why do, why does, why is the color of your shirt the way it is? I don't know. It it just took a long time, it, and we weren't ready to make it. I'm happy we didn't make it ten years ago. It wasn't we? We didn't earn the right to make it ten years ago. We needed to, uh, you know, cut our teeth and, and educate ourselves on certain narrative pacings and and uh, genre and and, and um, you know the world is a very rich world, and I'm and and I think you can feel the the time spent in it, which I'm I, you wouldn't have if we made it you mm-hmm. know right away. The weekend is the pop star in this film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a pop star yet though when the movie takes place. It's 2012. Yeah, well, that, was, yeah. that was actually yeah. one of the deciding factors for the time it took. You know, the place <laughs> when the movie took place, there was only a certain limit we could go because that was right when he just started. You know. Yeah. Did you have anyone else lined up if he'd said no? It started, we actually, before we became friends with, with uh, Weekend, he, he saw a movie we made called Heaven Knows What, really responded to it. Then, uh, we, then we became friends after he saw a Good Time. He really liked that film a lot. And then we just became friends, which was awesome. And uh, um, but before we met him, it was, you know, we had, we did a table, I remember we did a table with ASAP Ferg was there and it was a character named Privilege. Before it was Ferg, it was gonna be an unknown, uh, like a, just a local aspiring uh, rapper. Actually, we talked about Troy Ave for a little bit. Um, but um, yeah, it, it, it ended up being, when we ended up landing on the right time period because of Kevin Garnett, and it was with The weekend. we realized it was gonna take place around, right when he was breaking through around the trilogy, and then we were able to use The Morning, which is, one of my favorite songs is. Did Adam and the Weekend hit it off on set? <laughs> they literally, they literally hit it off. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was pretty. Yeah, they had. I remember when we were doing. There's like a, there's a big, um, there's a brawl that happens between the two of them, and I just remember they were so insistent and excited to do it themselves, you know, and just kind of, it was amazing. Yeah. But. And also, you know, Sandler would. Um, you know, he plays music a lot on set when he arrives on set, and sometimes he, you know, when you're at three, four in the morning, you know, late, late going over time, you know, he he pulls the right playlist out, and he would often play weekends music sometimes to just get people, just to remind people that 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 the weekends in our in our film. I actually, his new his new records, Abel's the new tracks he's just released, and the new album that's coming out are are um, they they feel kind of like a you know, not inspired at all by the movie, but I, they feel like a nice cousin to the film. I actually wish it came out while we were shooting because it's so, the energy is incredible. It yeah, would have driven like a lot of late nights, which would have been He amazing. said, he's like, oh, you have to, <laughs> he goes, when he played me Heartless, he actually, Heartless has been working on it for a while, but yeah. when he played me Heartless, I was just like, oh, he's like, yeah, this is Howard. Howard's Heartless. I was like, no, he's Howard's full of heart. <laughs> What's your favorite Adam Sandler film? I, I, I really love Wedding Singer a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, we just revisited. Big Daddy's a big one. No, Punch Drunk no, Love is great, but uh, Love Wedding Singer. I think Punch Drunk Love, to me, has more in common than the rest of his films with Uncut Gems. Sure. I, I mean, uh, but Paul Thomas Anderson is vanguard. You know, he, he saw, he saw. I mean, I've, I've read interviews with him, and I, we had the pleasure of meeting him uh, through Adam. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think that he saw in Big Daddy uh, a side of Sandler that, um, you know, that was a, Underneath, you know, the comedies and stuff, and and um, yeah, he 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 was vanguard he, to 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 put him and and the genius of Punch Drunk Love is that he uh, was making an Adam Sandler movie. He wasn't trying to force him into anything else, and uh, it's a special movie. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, I, I think uh, I, I I don't know. I kind of sometimes I can kind of sometimes see Howard in, in <laughs> much of the movies <laughs> for sure. Yeah.